Hello, hello, people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, and in today's episode, we have got our last game of the first season with Oxford United. We're taking on Accrington Stanley. There's not a whole lot to play for for either side, so we're also going to have a look at how the season has gone as a whole. For us, we're going to have a look at how the squad has done, what players have impressed, what players maybe haven't. And we're going to have a look at the up and down of the season as well. Because, well, this season started off quite well, but it's ended um, rather average, I think you can say. So why don't we get into that right away? And actually, first up, we'll catch you up on how things have been going since we was last together which was for the surprise doubleheader against Cheltenham and Peterborough. You saw both of those games. And well, ever since then, if I can get this back on the proper screen, uh, ever since then, we have gone one. Well, in total, we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unbeaten before coming a cropper against Forest Green in an absolute nightmare of a game. But we drew against Sheffield Wednesday 1-1 with a late equaliser from Kyle Bartley. Port Vale, we managed to beat them with a late goal thanks to Tyler Smith. And Bolton, we got, an, we got a 1-1 draw there. We had a 0-0 against Portsmouth. And then we had a phenomenal performance against Barnsley. Let's have a look at this one in a little bit more detail. 3-1 win, but you can see here, we was not the better team. How we won this game, I don't know. Only nine shots to their 18. Four on target to their 11. An XG of 1.21. Possession of 57%. So, yeah, how we won that game, I do not know. But I was very, very happy that we did. Sam Baldock getting a rare goal for us there. We'll have a look how he's got on over the season in a minute. But then, yep, that massive 3-0 defeat against Forest Green, who are 19th in the league and managed by Duncan Ferguson. I, I, I didn't realise that. Is that a thing that's happened in real life? Is it? Is he managing Forest Green in real life? Surely not. Someone let me know in the comments if that's a real managerial appointment. Because if it is, that is mental. But yeah, so we lost to big scary Duncan Ferguson. And that leads us to where we are today against Accrington Stanley, who are 20th in the league. And well, judging by the fact we just lost to Forest Green at 19th, this might be more difficult than what we thought. Because we are finishing the season in either 11th or 12th. Hopefully, if we can avoid defeat, we will finish 11th. Which, funnily enough, is exactly where the bookies predicted we would finish. If you remember back to episode 1, all the way back at the start of the season. They said we was going to finish 11th. And well, it seems like we're going to. So, very well done, bookmakers. But now let's have a look and see, uh, have a look at our past positions and see how we have got on over the season. Because you can see after, what's that? That is all the way down here. After seven games, we was top of the league and absolutely cruising. But then ever since then, we've dropped down to, we dropped down to fourth after, what's that? Ten games. And then ever since then, it's been up, down, up, down. And then it's just been down, 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 up a little bit. And then, yep. And so we've looked like finishing 11 for a little while now. And so it is indeed proving to be the case. This is like the worst roller coaster ever, isn't it? It goes up a little bit, stays normal, goes down, up a bit more. Dun, dun, dun. And then, then it just keeps going down and down and down. No real high points. And yeah, if I was playing, what's, whoa, what's, the, roller, what's the roller coaster game I play? Ah, oh, I can't remember what it's called right now. But if I was playing that theme park game, um, I would not be designing a roller coaster quite like this. I can say that. So, yeah. So, 
decent start, but disappointing end. But if you had offered me 11th at the start of the season, I probably would have taken it, if I am going to be honest. Especially because I was doing some research, I was doing some digging the other night. And well, have a look at this for sponsorship income. Zero. We have no sponsorship income. And you see teams like Derby County have got six and a half and they're finishing 16th. So for us to outperform them and Burton Albion 21st, Bristol Rovers 12th, we might be finishing higher than them. So I would say with that in mind, I'm quite happy with this season when you look at that. It's a good starting building point for hopefully another few years here at Oxford as we do try to rise up the leagues towards the Premier League. And in fact, big, big news. I asked for and I've received a new contract. So I am here until at least 2025 right now. I didn't get a pay raise, but I have got an extra year on my deal and I'm getting a coaching course. So if we have a look at my profile, I'm going to be going for the Continental Pro. I think that's the top one, isn't it? And so, yeah, that is what that is what's going to be happening for me over the summer. New contract, new coaching course. Hopefully, that will help us over the next few seasons. And so now, before we get into the game, let's have a look at our players and see who has him at rest. And so, you can see here, our highest average rating is Patrick Bauer, who we brought in for only £16,000, which I think is an absolute bargain. He's got an average rating of 7.25 from 13 appearances. And you can see here his tackle completion ratio, 92%. His presses completed, one presser completed per game, two interceptions per game, almost three. And you can see that he has done very, very well. 11 headers completed per 90 minutes, which is very nice. And then alongside him is Kyle Bartley. And Kyle Bartley, I believe his contract is ending. No, it's not. I thought his contract was ending, but it's not. But we might try and get him in in the summer because these two in the centre of defence have transformed us ever since they came in in January. And then Elliot Moore is, um, is another high-rated player, another defender which is a little bit surprising to me. 7.11 average rating from 26 appearances or 26 starts and 12 subs from him. And then Brandon Fleming. Why? How? How's the game worked that one out? That our best, four best players are all defenders when I think our defenders have been quite poor this season. But however it's worked out, I don't know. But also what I don't know Tyler Smith, our top goal scorer, only a 6.96. I know he went 10 hours without scoring recently, but you would still think that he would have a higher rating than a 6.96 across all competitions, wouldn't you? And in fact, it would be a lot lower if it wasn't for the FA Cup and his 8.95 in that particular competition. So maybe something to look at for how the game um, does their average ratings. And Anderson as well. Anderson, Anderson's arguably been my favourite player this season. It's definitely between him and Tyler Smith for them two for my favourite player of the year. And we have got him on contract for at least another year. Whether or not he's going to be happy to stay, we will have to wait and see because he has been very, very good this year. Uh, and who else are we going to have a look at? Kanate. Kanate has got a 6.93 from 35 appearances in total. And so who is fallen down at the bottom? And so down at the bottom, from a fair few appearances, uh, Baptiste, yeah, he's struggled to get into the team. So I can understand him being that low down. Soon Sup Bell, I was, he was one I was really excited to have a look at this season. And I don't know, he's got going in bits and bursts every now and then, but He's never really scored in a few games in a row. As you can see there, the last time he scored for us was in January. 
And then ever since then, absolutely nothing. So we're not going to be bringing him back next year. Anybody else surprising? Oh, uh, Randell. I was expecting to play Randell quite a bit more. But he's another one who we have never really got going. And so I'm going to be, ha- I'm going to be happy to send him back to Plymouth. And hopefully we can improve on the midfield in the summer. And well, like I said in the last episode, we've got 43 grand in the wage budget. So that is a very, very healthy amount. We'll have a look as well after the game because we should hopefully get our budgets after that to see how much we are going to have to spend in the summer. But anyway, with that very quick look at the team and at the season, so we get into today's game against Atkinton. I think we should. Okay, we're going with an experimental tactic for today's game. Like I say, last game of the season, not a whole lot to play for. So I thought, why not try this out and see if it might be something to use for next season. And so we've got Stevens in goal. Bauer and Bartley are our two centre-backs. Anderson playing on the left for the first time. And Long on the right-hand side, both playing as wing-backs. And then in the middle, we've got Iqbal as the advanced playmaker. Brannigan as the ball-winning midfielder. And Brown as the Mizala. And then up front, it's Kanate. I don't know. I think I might take I think I might take Soonshot Bell out, actually. Now I've just realised he's not scored for ages. So it's Bulldog and Smith up front. Smith did have, a, did have an absolute nightmare last time out against Forest Green, but he is our top scorer. So hopefully we can get something out of him for today. And so we've gone as well with this, with a lower defensive line, but I think with the wingbacks, that might negate it a little bit. And so hopefully that might help us still be quite a bit attacking in today's game. And so, yep, that is the starting lineup. Let's get into it. First highlight of the game, only five minutes in, and it's us with the ball in the Accrington half. We've tried to play it over the defence, but Accrington have got it away, but only as far back as Bauer. And now it's Brown to Brannigan. Bartley once again. Bauer with the ball again, as I'm just checking if my camera's working all right, and it is. So, Iqbal to Bauer to Brannigan. To Bulldog and Bulldog plays it through to Canate and he's tried to get it to Brown but he's unable to get on to it and we are playing the ball nicely here. Smith and his and a shot from one of our men there has been blocked and Smith's tried to overhead kick it and it's gone out and out for a goal kick. Almost 20 minutes in now and it's us once again with the ball. Bartley back to Stevens in our net. And Bauer over to Anderson, to Iqbal. Tyler Smith plays it over the top. Canate's in. Canate shoots and he's hit the post. Oh, what a very nice goal that would have been. Five minutes till half time. It's Brown with a free kick deep for us. Bartley with a header. And Kyle Bartley with only his second goal of the season has given us the lead. Kyle Bartley with a beautiful header, giving the Aquinton keeper absolutely no chance. What a great free kick this was from Brown, right onto Bartley's head. And that is a brilliant way to end the first half. Come on, boys. Oh, oh, I may have spoken too soon. Oh, no. Lee with a throw in for Accrington. It's gone to Rogers, who is in absolute oceans of space. And his long shot has been blocked. Has been... Uh, his long shot has hit the bar and gone out. I was nervous then. We're into the second half. Only half an hour left to go. And Accrington have got a free kick, which Bartley, the goal scorer, has headed away. It's gone to Emerin, to Farm, to Lee. And Lee is breaking into the box. He's crossed it in. And Accrington, a level. Nathan Butler, Oyadei, has equalised for Accrington with what I think was his 17th of the season. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. We can't just have a comfortable victory, can we? And, well, Lee, once he broke into the box, I think everybody knew what was going to happen. And Accrington are level. Substitutions are coming. And, well, we have got... Oh, that was... Ooh. That was tight, but I think it was onside. Three changes being made now. Both the central defenders are coming off because they're looking tired. 
So Bartley and Bauer are off for Elliot Moore and Kieran Brown. And up front, Canate is off for uh, Josh Murphy. So hopefully one of those changes will get us the win we need. Come on, boys. We can win this. Come on. Well, those changes did not do a damn thing, did they? As we end the season with a disappointing 1-1 draw against Aquinton. But the result may have been disappointing, but the performance I am happy with. 17 shots to their 10. Only three on target, though. We're going to need better strikers for next season. I think if we had better strikers, we'd be higher up the league table. And an XG of 0.4, a 68% possession to Accrington's 32, obviously. And so that is how we end the season. Let me tell the lads it was one of those days. And we'll have a look at the final league table, see if we get any update on the transfer budgets. And then I shall let you beautiful people go for the day. Okay, so no update on the transfer budgets. I'm guessing we're waiting for the playoffs to end before that gets updated. But we have finished 11th in the table, which, as I said before the game, I'm quite happy with that. It's a good, it's a good building block. It's a good solid base to grow for next season. And, well, if we have a look at, the, at our inbox, you will see here that the board are delighted with what we have done this season. So that's very nice. The supporters as well are very happy. And I'm being asked about being about ticking those off. So I'm just going to say we believe in ourselves and we know where we're going. And so, yep, I am very, very happy with, with how the season has gone, I guess, on a whole. Alfie Devine, who I've got on a short list, he is, he's picked up some award over in Oh, the, what what award is that? The English Under-21 Premier Division Spear Designs. If someone could tell me what that award is, that would be very nice. But, yep, so if you have a look at the club, at the club vision, they are happy with us. We've got a B- minus from the board and the same again from the supporters. So, yep, that is where we are going to leave it for today. As an actual fact, the four teams in the playoffs, Portsmouth, Lincoln, Wickham and Sheffield Wednesday. Get your guesses in for who's going to get promoted and I'll let you know who was correct at the start of next season. And so guys, yep, that is everything for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope you've enjoyed this first season. I have. I have absolutely rocketed through this season i've got this video and the one before this one to edit and upload as things stand because i have just burst through this season i've enjoyed it so much i cannot wait to be with you for the start of next season where we are going to be aiming for the playoffs and so, yep, yeah, thank you all for joining me. I shall see you next time and do all the usual bits. Like the video, subscribe, share it about anyone you know about who might be an Oxford fan or who likes FM stuff. Tell them about this. We're trying to get to 800 subs, hopefully by my birthday in July. That would be very, very nice. And so, yep, yeah, with all that said, thank you very much for joining me. I shall see you next time.